Hey, hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back with another video, and I was going to do this the other day, but I actually took a little more time to stop and think about it for a minute. Because I, I ended up having a really, really ranty video and needed a little bit of time to you know, like calm down and chill over it. Because, uh, like I said, I can't adjust the volume on this mic. I mean, the mic is, is at the volume it's going to be at, and it's at the volume it's going to stay at, unfortunately. But anyway, we have here today Rockstar Games... <clears throat> bending the knee black lives matter yeah that, that that's fun um to honor the legacy of george floyd today 6 4 20 from 2 a from 2 o'clock to 4 p.m eastern time we will be shutting down access to our online games grand theft auto and red dead online Following the memorial, we hope you will join us in further honoring the many victims of America's racial injustices by supporting their families, black-owned businesses, those marching in the streets, and coalitions through the organizations listed here. Okay, so let's let's be frank about something for a minute. Rockstar is punishing their fans because this is not directed <clears throat> at the fans. This starts as Black Lives Matter. They are addressing Black Lives Matter. They are not addressing rock star fans. They are not saying, oh, you know, for our fans, no, no. What they're saying is we will punish our fans for BLM. We will shut down and stop them from playing games so that they cannot escape the nonsense that's going on out here. Um, let me be frank about something. Some people have lost their homes. Some people have lost their businesses. Thanks to these riots. There's one man named David Dorn who has died defending what little business he had. Okay? They just turned around and shot him. Nobody gives a fuck. There are very few people who are even giving a fuck right now. I'm one of them. He's not getting a march. Black Lives Matter will never march. And as I said before, this is not about you, the fans. This is about Rockstar doing something for Black Lives Matter. Now, this is the part. Now, the second part here is where it gets just absolutely asinine. Following the memorial, like I said, we're going to reread this again. We hope you join us in further honoring the many victims of America's racial injustices. No, the many Black Americans who are facing racial injustices. This doesn't set. You're not. You're not going to sit there and go for the Jews. You're not going to talk about the Hispanics. Or the Asians. Let's talk about it. Right now, New York City has seen a mass of uh, anti-Semitic attacks on Jewish people. Some of them perpetuated by people of brown and dark skin color. Nobody's going to talk about that. We're not. We're not going to talk about it. Because, like the old saying goes, there's something wrong with you if you don't hate Jews. And I'm sorry, that's, that's just the full uh, connotation of that. Some people may get mad at me for saying it, but that's the truth. You're not going to fight racial injustices. It gets even better, though. Racial injustice by supporting their families. No, because some of these people during these riots have had their homes burned down. Also, um, supporting their black-owned businesses. The black-owned businesses have been burnt. <laughs> okay, what black-owned businesses? Black people went out and burned a whole bunch of businesses. Now, I'm, I'm not getting on to black people. I'm just showing Rockstar's hypocrisy here and how tone deaf they've become at the moment. Because they have no idea. Who do you think, wh whose business do you think they burned first? They burned black owned businesses. When they went to the suburbs, they started burning that place. The suburban people came out there with all their guns. There's no black businesses. The black businesses in, the, in Minnesota where this guy was killed at, they're gone. <laughs> they don't exist no more. They burned. They were burning liquor stores. They were burning. I bet they burned a few strip clubs down in the process. I mean, strippers for the fuck's sake. Why would you burn a strip club? Those girls just working to just shaking what they got to make money, man. They probably went in there and burned that crap down. Those marching on the streets. Uh, <laughs> they're the people that burnt everything to the ground, you morons. And the coalition. Coalitions to the organizations listed here. Really, really after the last couple of lines, I don't really care. But I mean, here's the thing. Like I said, this is Rockstar punishing their fans for two hours. Because let me tell you why. For two hours, they can afford to shut down the servers. For two hours, they can turn off your games that you have paid for. 
that mind you, you're paying, like I pay over 50 something dollars a year, plus I've already paid for the video game, which is another $60, to play it on my PlayStation. Okay? And Rockstar has walked in there and arbitrarily removed a service that has been paid for. This isn't for maintenance. This is because one group of people, they're trying to appease a single group of people. That's it. And they're not going to do this any other time. And there are other companies that are doing the same thing. There are, there's a bunch of other companies bending the knee right now doing this nonsense. Let me tell you something. You know what will hurt Rock? You know what would teach Rockstar a lesson? And I know this would be kind of hard for people to do, but I mean, if you're pissed off about this, just go in there and not play Rockstar games for a whole week. Let them sit there and watch their server access just drop. Watch all them servers that they're paying for just all that interaction just drop for about a week to nothing. One week. That's all it would take. And then send it to Rockstar. Uh, probably some sort of hashtag like, do you know who, are you gonna, still going to bite the hand that feeds you or something like that? Or hashtag biting the hand. And then get Rockstar to ask, well, what, what happened? What happened? You took away our gaming time for two hours. Because you didn't want, because not for the fans. This had nothing to do with the fans. This had you wanting to virtue signal to a group of people that's already doing something. You're a gaming company. All right? You do not sit there and virtue signal for other people. Because we all know the purpose of your virtue signaling. You're trying to make more money. That's it. You don't care about George Floyd. We all know this. And it's a blatant hypocrisy. We accept the fact that your business is not there to cater to one individual. We accept that. Because it has to cater to multiple people. In order for the online mode to work, you have multiple. You have to have multiple people online playing it. But this is... Once again, I, and it's it pisses me off. Because you see this with the Mortal Kombat franchise. You see this with the... Um, what is it? Tomb Raider franchise. We're putting more clothes on the chicks. We're reducing the boob sizes. You got Rockstar going in here, taking content. Uh, they've taken content out of their games for online mode. Um, let me let me let me tell you how stupid this is because you bend the knee. This doesn't end. Imagine this. Imagine this. If someone went into Rockstar's games, into the online mode. And just started, just dressed in all white and began shooting all the black people. All the black NPCs, they just start shooting. I'm not saying people should, but I'm just saying, what if they do that? And then they come out and they say, well, you know what? Rockstar removed animals. They wouldn't allow animals on the online mode, so you wouldn't be abusing them in GTA V. Let's have Rockstar remove all the black NPCs from GTA on Online. Rockstar, at this point in time would capitulate. They would erase all of the blacks. Every black NPC would be erased from GTA Online to appease the woke crowd. They would erase black people from the history of their game. Think about that. They would purify it a little bit. We purify the darkest group in the game, the darkest group of NPCs out of the game. That's what Rockstar will eventually do. All it takes is an outrage mob against them. They've proven that they will capitulate. This is why I tell people all the time, you don't negotiate with activist groups. They are like terrorists. Activist groups no longer go in there and do peaceful protesting. They have lost the, they have lost the reasoning on why you peacefully protest. The reason to peacefully protest is to get punched in the mouth, whether you like it or not. Why? Because it makes the person punching you in the mouth look like a bully. And that gets everyone around you pissed off. Because nobody likes a bully. Nobody does. But when you go out there and start committing acts of violence, you become the bully. Well, unfortunately, the people that are now committing acts of violence, when you commit violence in the name of a political movement, you become a terrorist. That's the definition of terrorism. So now, you've got a terrorist organization who doesn't mind causing violence. And Rockstar is capitulating to them. 
They are just going to come back and ask for more. There's a reason why the United States says, we do not negotiate with terrorists. The response should be, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Every time. You can say, we'll do something in solidarity. We'll ask the fans what we can do. This is what should have been done better. Rockstar Games should have asked the fans what they would have done. Because I'll tell you what the fans would have done. The fans would have held some sort of march in the GTA 5 in solidarity. That's what we would have done. They'd have flown. I mean, we'd have had the red tails flying over doing maneuvers. We would have we would have made some grand gesture inside of the game. Instead, Rockstar didn't want the fans involved because Rockstar does not trust their fans. They do not trust us as fans anymore. They did this for Black Lives Matter, and they did it without consulting the fans. You could have asked the fans, Rockstar, what we would have done. Guarantee you, they'd have come up with something quite impressive. We'd have done some sort of online rave in one of the areas of GTA V. Hell, we would have probably asked you to bring out some stripper NPCs and make this a really cool looking thing and make an event out of it. Hell, we would have probably done this like the 4th of July event. I mean, I'm pretty sure you would not have found a single member in here say, we, we need to remember George Floyd. There needs to be some George Floyd missions put in, in the next one. You know, immortalize the man in GTA V. That would have been far better. And as a fan, that's me saying that. But Rockstar didn't want my opinion because I'm a peon and they don't respect their customers anymore. So what do they do? They go in, they do the same bull crap that everyone else is doing, pointless virtue signaling, and then they start losing fans. I, mean, I was trying to try and see if I could convince some friends of mine to get GTA back up, but man, I don't really want to play anymore. Like I said, Rockstar needs a week without players. We need a Rockstar boycott. Like, yeah, because we could, because we as the fans would have rather been involved in this. We would have rather have said, look, Rockstar, this is what y'all can do for us, and we will do it in GTA, and, and this will let us do this in GTA 5. We'd have done like a mass parachute or something like that in honor of George Floyd. Like, people have done crazy things inside of GTA 5. They have pulled off crazy stunts. They have pulled off amazing, the Red Tails especially pull off amazing aerial maneuvers. None of that. Rockstar Games could have said, we want to see support from our players for support of George Floyd. We think it would be a nice gesture. Send them in and we will retweet. And just watch the good videos come in. And, and watch some good times, man. Watch some people having fun. You could have turned this into a positive thing. Instead, you've made this a negative thing, which is just pissing off a fan base. And the people who are happy about this rock star, they don't buy your game anyway. They're the ones who are bitching about you being insensitive before in the past. You've capitulated to people who aren't going to buy this who aren't going to buy your game, who aren't going to invest in your shark cards, who won't invest in your game, period, in either time or money, and you want them to give you a pat on the head and a pee-pee touch. That's like, that's like saying, no, you know what, um, I'm not going to go over to the stripper that likes me who will give me a full-fledged blowjob right now. I'm going to go over to this other stripper who's fatter overweight, got zits all over her face and buck teeth, whereas the other chick looks like Pamela Anderson. And so Pamela Anderson stripper will give me a blowjob, but this one over here, she's offered a pee-pee touch. I'm going to take the pee-pee touch. Nobody makes that decision, Rockstar. Nobody makes that decision. You've just, you have completely alienated, your, you're alienating your uh, fan base. And you're probably going to see it in the next couple of months because people, when you do this and don't consider it, most, most players, they would probably agree. But this is you spanking your players for something some police officer did. Okay, because that's about the extent of it. Your players were not responsible for that. Your players did nothing wrong. But now we're being punished for something some dumbass did, who, by the way, is being prosecuted. But we're the ones who have to be punished for it. Good job punishing your fans, Rockstar. Good job. Okay? Remember, you had a loyal fan base. You're probably going to see a drop in money. 
you're probably going to see a drop in shark cards because people will just look, because I guarantee you there's a lot of players who buy your shark cards who are going to say, yeah, if they're going to shut down my playtime, I'm going to move on to a company who won't do it. Woke politics, man. Hey, Rockstar, get woke, go broke. Anyway, folks, be sure to like and comment the video. I'd like to hear your opinions on this. And also, at the same time, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell for notification. I am the last raider. Stay frosty. Keep your head in the swivel. There's some creepy people out there right now. Just make sure you get home safe. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.